Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Car X video. Guys, for today's video, it's going to be real short and sweet, but we're going to be going over how to download and install the NVA mod. Now, if you're not familiar with the NVA mod, it is very similar to the Kino mod. It actually uses the same framework. Um, but it just has some pretty cool uh, additional features that you can add into the game. With the NVA mod, actually saving a livery with it allows you to apply it on any car, which is really cool. Head over into tools, you can actually assign a leader and a chaser in a tandem event, as long as they have the NVA mod. And then you can go to countdown, and then you can actually send a light tree, which I think is really cool, kind of to avoid those false starts. But the coolest part of it, is that you can actually hot tune your car while you're inside of the game. So if you're drifting in a, in a map and you don't wanna leave, you can actually open up this mod and go through all of your settings and adjust them right there without ever having to go back to your garage. And now that I've kind of showed you through what the mod is a little bit, let's go and jump right into exactly how you download it. All right, so the very first thing you are going to wanna to do is make sure that you have an extractor, an extractor such as 7-Zip. Uh, I use WinRAR, I will leave a link down in the description to WinRAR, it is free to use. Um, it doesn't matter what you use, just as long as you have an extractor. Then the second thing you are going to do is head over to GitHub. Once again, all of these links will be down in the description. This is going to be the actual mod loader. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the BEPLNEX 5.4.15. Now it's the same one that you would use if you were using Kino Mod as well. And what this is going to do is just essentially a mod loader. It allows you to load the mod into the game, just as it says. So you're going to want to either download the times 64 zip file or the times 86 zip file. Now, if you have a 64 bit operating system, you're going to go with the times 64. And if you have a 32 bit operating system, you're going to go with the times 86. Now, if you don't know which operating system you have, just press the windows plus the pause key and it will bring up your settings or just go into your settings through the start menu. And right next to a system type, it will tell you exactly what type of system you have. Now, we have, the, we have a 64-bit operating system, so we're gonna click 64. Go ahead and download that. Once you have that, head over to this Google link, and uh, I will leave a link down in the description as well. Once you're here, go over to this little down arrow button. That's gonna be download. You're gonna download this. You're gonna download anyway. It's gonna come out right there. Perfect, now that you have a both of those, what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna open it up. So we're gonna open up and if you have WinRAR and you're past your free trial and this pops up, don't worry about it. Just click X. You don't ever have to buy it. It's don't even worry about it. So you're going to open up the actual mod loader that you just downloaded. We're going to put this to the right of the screen. And then we're going to go to wherever you have your CarX game saved in, like whatever, whatever drive you have it saved in. That's where you're going to want to go. So for us, we're going to go to our files and we're going to go to this PC. Ours is saved on our NVMe drive, which is full, as you can see. I'm gonna go to Program Files times 86. I'm gonna go to Steam. I'm gonna go down to Steam Apps, Common, CarX Drift Racing Online, and bam, here we are. We have our CarX folder. We're gonna move that to the left so we can easily drag and drop. So as you can see, I already have the mod loader folder in here, um, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight now this is the mod loader that you just downloaded. You're gonna highlight all of these right here. And you're just gonna drag and drop right over here. Obviously, I've already done that. We're not gonna do it again, but it's as simple as that. Drag and drop, boom. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up that mod loader that you just put in there. And you're going to right click, new folder. And you're gonna name this new folder plugins. Now, as you can see, we already have it, so we're not gonna do it again. I'm just showing you guys so you know exactly what to do. We're gonna go ahead and delete this. So bam, we just made this folder right here, plugins, you're gonna open it. Now, when you open this, obviously you just made this folder and nothing is gonna be in there. But what you're gonna do now, is you're gonna go back to your downloads. You're gonna open up the NVA mod that you just downloaded. Once again, exit out that, doesn't matter. Put this to the right of the screen open back up our folder and then all you're going to do once again is you're going to highlight and then drag and drop right over here just like that so super simple and that's all you have to do and then you have the nba mod so just to show you guys we're going to close out close out close out go over to steam open up car x 
And as you can see, if you installed everything correctly, up here in the left hand corner, the top left corner, you will see mods, NVA loader, NVA core, NVA tuner. And so then once you are in the game, go ahead and click delete on your keyboard and that's gonna bring up your NVA mod menu. So that's it guys, super simple to do. Just make sure you follow those directions and you should be able to get the NVA mod. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to drop them down below. I'll do my best to help you guys out. Also, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content just like this. If you wanna check out this livery right here, many other hundreds of really awesome, cool liveries made by our Discord members, be sure to check out the Discord link down in the description. But just like that, I appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. You can now become even more a part of the channel by becoming a member and getting exclusive access to badges, emojis, and a variety of other perks, including members only live chats, early access to my new videos, and more.